How does snow forms? Whether winter storms produce snow relies heavily on temperature, but not necessarily the temperature we feel here on the ground. When the temperature in the atmosphere is at or below freezing, 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and there is a minimal amount of moisture in the air, snow forms. The snow will reach the ground if the ground temperature is at or below freezing. If the conditions are exactly right, snow can still reach the ground when the ground temperature is above freezing. When snowflakes reach this higher temperature layer, they begin to melt, causing evaporative cooling, which cools the air immediately around the snowflake. Melting is slowed by this cooling. Snow, on the other hand, will not form unless the ground temperature is at least 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. While it is possible for it to be too hot to snow, it is not possible for it to be too cold to snow. Even at extremely low temperatures, snow can form if there is a source of moisture and a mechanism to elevate or cool the air. True that most heavy snowfalls occur when there is relatively warm air near the ground, typically 9 degrees Celsius, 15 degrees Fahrenheit, or warmer, since warmer air can hold more water vapor. Because snow creation necessitates moisture, highly cold but dry locations may only get snow on rare occasions. The dry valleys of Antarctica, for example, are the continent's largest ice-free area the dry valleys are frigid, but there is very little humidity. And strong winds assist remove any leftover moisture from the air. As a result, little snow falls in this bitterly cold location. There is snow on the ground. The character of the snow surface following a snowstorm is determined by the crystal's original form as well as the weather conditions at the time of the snowfall. When high winds accompany a snowstorm, for example, the snow crystals are split into smaller fragments that can become more tightly packed. Snow may melt or evaporate after a snowstorm, or it may stick around for a long time. Individual grains' texture, size, and form will alter if snow lingers on the ground, even if the temperature remains below freezing or they may melt and refreeze over time, eventually becoming compacted by succeeding snowfalls. Don't forget to like and subscribe.